welcome back on my channel. So I never planned on doing this video. Um, a couple of days ago, I received another Tokyo treat box. What? So I was pretty sure when I ordered the holiday one that I ordered just the one. I'm pretty sure the option was just like, just one box, only once. I guess not. It's so funny because I kept getting texts from DHL Express being like, oh, your delivery's coming. If you want to change options for like no signature and all the blah, 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 click here. And I was just like, I had ordered one thing and it was from Amazon. So I was like, it's not going to come by DHL Express. It's probably a fraud. Like, you know, I get, you get so many emails. I get so many emails about from Amazon. It's just like, you missed your delivery. And I'm just like, no. So I was like, oh, it's probably just a fraud. I'm not going to click anything. I'm not going to respond. I get another text. I'm at work at that time. And I get another text and it's just like, oh, you missed your delivery. And I'm like, blah, blah. And I come home and my mom is just like, oh, they left this on the door. I so like I had a little thing left on the door that said, we missed you, oops. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I'm waiting for something. But I had no idea what it was. Like I just kept thinking, I was just like, did I order a book? Did I, what? It was this. So the fun thing for this time is that it's a complete mystery. Like I didn't go online to check what was in that box. So I have no idea what's gonna be in there, but I figured might as well share with you again. If you haven't seen my previous one, Here's the link, check it out. There was a lot of nice stuff, but the fun thing is I'm still not done eating all of the stuff that was in there. I still have the very fucking sweet Pockies and the Kit Kat, but oh my God, this is very annoying. What is that piece of hair that just doesn't fit anywhere? Why is it so short? And since when? What happened? I'm gonna try to ignore it, but that is all I can see. Okay, so let's dive into this Tokyo treat box also you guys let me know if you like this if i should keep my subscription for at least next month i mean next month what am i saying i'm gonna have to order it like now well no because it's gonna come either way right okay i'm so confused i don't know if i need to cancel anything let me just know oh it fell off oh no snack revolution oh there's a ramen on if there are ramens in there i'm gonna shit my pants i I love ramen. I love ramen so much, but what the fuck is this? I look like a crazy person. I look so echevelli. Oh mama. Oh, ooh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 It looks like this when I open it. And right from the bat, we can see Kit Kat. It says cafe au lait. So they're like milk, coffee, Kit Kat. So basically a latte. Japanese people are geniuses. Okay, there's a drink there. There is. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are some ramen. There's a little tanuki on top of it. Oh, I was such an idiot in my other video. I was just like, I guess it says this. I'm not really sure. But then there was also something like that, which explains the snacks. Like, <laughs> I took it out of the box and then I completely forgot about it. Maybe I'll be able to feed you more information. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit for that one. This is a whole lunch. So next we got this big bag of puwap. 20th anniversary of I don't know what. Okay, so this is also like a kind of bean thing. Let's just go with these ones. This is gonna be our little tradition. We're gonna keep the Kit Kats for the end. I say tradition. This is probably the last video like this that I'm gonna be making, but... Ooh! It smells really good. Mm, salty. A slight bean taste, but I don't mind it. It's very subtle. It sort of melts in your mouth and it's salty, so it's kind of like chips. I really like this. Oh, I'm gonna need to see if this is bad for me. Probably. Who cares? We're all gonna die someday. Oh, oh no, they're on the ground. Oh no. Fuato edamame. Oh, it's edamame. Why do I say beans? I'm an idiot. Fuato edamame crackers. That's what this was. Spend your New Year's rolling around under the kotatsu. This is what it is, and this is the best and the worst thing to happen to mankind. I want one, but if I get one, I will not do anything ever again. And snacking out on Fuato Edamami crackers made with rice from Niigata, thought to be the best rice in Japan. Oh, we got another little umai. I love these little umais. Oh, it has a little piggy, a little piggy spaceship. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell what it smells like. It smells like sauce, like barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh my god, 
It's like a little spicy, but oh my god, is this so good? It does taste like sauce, but more like takoyaki sauce or like yakisoba sauce. These little umai are really umai. <laughs> okay, umai tonkatsu. Oh, tonkatsu. Oh. Oh, that, does that mean it tastes like meat? The classic corn snack is coming to you in a fan favorite flavored tonkatsu with a savory sauce twist. That's the sauce. Savory sauce. That's the sauce. Oh, man, that's so good. I want a billion of those. Let's go with that little fish. Let's fish a little fish. We had something um, from this brand last time. Ooh, okay. They smell kind of like the edamame things. Ooh, it's kind of sweet. The taste is familiar, but I can't say what it is. Swimming onto the scene this new year is Tayarare. With a major focus on Japanese flavors like a soy sauce and mirin, these mini sea bream shaped snacks are here to give you a taste of the authentic flavors. Enjoy at this important time. So I guess it tastes like mirin. Bit of soy sauce and mirin. Very good. Very, very good. Are these? the same we had last time like the little cocoa balls caramel taro i never mind i guess they're caramel taro it looks like caramel popcorn it looks like caramel popcorn it does not taste like caramel popcorn it does taste caramelly but also kind of like fried like something fried that has like a sweet sauce on it kind of like a crepe no not a crepe what am i thinking of donut balls that are like glazed do you know what i'm talking about i have something in mind i just can't fried japanese snacks are dipped in a caramel sauce okay i'm not crazy and combined with peanuts Ooh, okay for a crunchy new year's flavor explosion set to start 2022 with a bang i can tell you that 2022 did not start with a bang it started with a depression so the little fried little thingies very good <laughs> okay, I've seen these before. Cabbage? That's cabbage. Oh, look at them little balls. Oh, it looks like a little mushroom, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm. This kind of reminds me a bit of the umai earlier. Oh, great. When I used to make with my roommate, Rio, if you guys remember, if you were there then, we used to make takoyaki sometimes. We'd put cabbage in it. And I don't know, I guess with the sauce. Tasted like that. Mm. So the New Year's diet can wait <laughs> when you've got cabbage taro to snack on. These mini corn puffs have a sweet and sour sauce flavor. Okay, I gotta go with this guy's screaming face. Yeah, this is like a soda flavored thing. Gamu. Is this gum? Gamu. Oh, this is gum. Wait, I should wait later for that one then. Put it with my Kit Kat. Oh! Oh, I just saw something in the box. Oh my god. I don't know if they're custard, but like in Japan, I love getting these with custard inside. I know the typical is with like the red bean paste. So it might be this. Oh, it says cream. It might actually be custard. Oh my god. I've been missing them. I mean, usually they're like made on the spot. This is like a fried thing. I keep that. I'll save them for the end with my Kit Kats because like, you know, just to make it more exciting. Ooh, jewelry. This is some kind of jewelry snack. Like a bracelet you can wear but also eat kind of thing. Oh, this is something I have to make. <laughs> Why does this have like the Star of David on it? Okay, let's go with that other small thing. A corn thing again. Chocolate flavored. Ooh, it is star shaped. That's cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. Mm. Mm. The texture is everything. And it tastes like chocolate a lot. It's like soft, but like not too soft. It's like crunchy and soft. As if it's like melting in the middle a little bit. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Oh, we got a little rice cracker. Does it have a sauce? Excuse me, what? Okay, yeah. DIY sauce senbei. We're bringing you a little bit of senbei goodness this month. Make sure to generously apply the senbei sauce to get a flavorful punch well i did not choose the right box to do this without a table i was just like i'm not gonna need it i'll just put them on the floor but there are so many things i need a table for <laughs> you know what we'll do it with the other thing we have to make i'll go somewhere else for that this thing ramune ramune is like a drink that you have to push a little ball in and i think it makes it fizz this is like a candy of that Several little candies. Oh, that is cute. With the color it has, I'm gonna guess it's soda. I could go read in the little book, but I'm not gonna. 
I am gonna. It smells weird. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it fizzes. But it doesn't say what it is. Maybe it is soda. And I'm just smelling the plastic. It tastes like rockets. Or a little like soda. And bam, it's gone already. Wow. It was nice. It was refreshing. All right, you know what? I think I want to go with a drink. Oh no, there's caffeine in this. <laughs> Bloody hell. You know what? I think I'm gonna drink this when I have my ramen. Uh, so another day. I will, because this is an energy drink. It's 4.20 <laughs> on the spot. It's 4 o'clock, so I'm not gonna take any caffeine. Mega patchy. It looks cool as fuck. Well then, Pocky! Just simple chocolate. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I'm sure I had these before when I was in Japan because I remember seeing the box, but I guess I forgot. But when you look at them, they look like they're a little dusty and they're not. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Mm. Very chocolatey. For some reason, that dye really took me back to Japan. I don't know why. Could have been the candy that tastes like soy sauce and midden. No. Cool. It's quite a few things that I haven't tasted from that box yet. So it's not technically the end right now, but I'm still, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this. I don't know if you can see them properly. It's so soft. Push, push. <laughs> Look at it. Mm. It's good. It's not the same, of course. It's not as fried and oily, but it's good. Very moist. <laughs> I guess that leaves us with... The Kit Kats! That's unfair. Like, I tried one day not to drink coffee. And then I get these. What a tease. They look like this. Oh my god. Come in inside a Starbucks or... I put it so close to the camera as if you could smell it. I'm like, smell it. Could you? Did you smell it? Kind of tastes like coffee crisps with the texture and all, but a lot more like coffee, less like chocolate, which I thoroughly enjoy. Mm. We can try one of the gums now. I mean, it tastes like soda. I don't know why I was expecting it to be dry. You know how gums sometimes after a long time are just dry and fall apart? Yeah, it's really like a bubble gum. Mm. Can I make a bubble? Oh, shit. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. Let's go see the other snacks. <sighs> okay, so it's been a couple of days. I'm ready, as you can see. I'm really excited to try the ramen. And I'm slightly terrified of this. I don't drink energy drinks. I drink coffee or like kombucha, but like energy drinks per se. No. Look at his face. I don't know. I feel like I have reasons to be terrified. We're gonna pour some water into this. We've got two packs. Ooh, this is a sauce of some kind. It's supposed to be a little spicy, so... It smells really good. I make peanut butter tofu. It kind of smells like that. <laughs> Does it? Also, I know I look a lot Valentine's day -y. I don't know why. As soon as I start doing my makeup, I'm not in control anymore. I'm actually really hot. I'm gonna take this off. Okay. <laughs> little veggies. What, huh? We'll see you later. Okay, so I guess while we wait, I'm gonna at least have a sniff of that. I want to taste the ramen first. Oh, let's just have a whiff to see how it's gonna pair with it. Oh, why is this exactly what I expected it to smell like? <laughs> it smells actually very sweet, but it smells like soda. I'm definitely not gonna drink the whole of it today, but let's see if a couple of... A couple of sips. Wow, I zoned out for one second. Let's see if a couple of sips can wake me up. I was quite energetic this morning because I took a coffee already. I guess now my brain wants to stop working. We'll see if this makes it work again. It should be ready now. Hmm, it looks really yummy. I also brought an egg to put in it for me afterwards, but I want to taste it straight up like that. Mmm, mm, I like it. Ooh, the spiciness is coming in. It's like just a little hint. Oh, wait, is it? <laughs> oh, my eyes are watery. It's not that spicy, but it's the type of spice that gets at the back of your 
mouth, I guess. It's not burning on my tongue at all. It's really all in my throat. <clears> throat> I quite like them. They're not super strong in taste. I'm not talking about the spiciness. I'm just talking in general, but I like them. Let me just add my runny egg. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I like to put some Worcestershire sauce on top of the eggs. I don't know why I'm suddenly... It, this turned into a, some kind of cooking show, but... Mmm. Yummy! Mega Pachi balances tasty flavor and energy giving ingredients to give you a refreshing boost on cold winter days. It doesn't say that it is soda flavored, but I guess we can kind of guess here from the color that it has. Ooh! Okay! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Toothpaste! Toothpaste? This is what it tastes like. I'm so confused. Why does it smell like soda, but it tastes like toothpaste? And it just feels like I just had a mouthful of toothpaste. Uh, let's have another sip. Uh, I mean, they did say refreshing, but not. I was not expecting refreshing as if I just brushed my teeth refreshing. Now this is gonna ruin my ramen experience. Oh no. This is gonna sound weird, but I kind of feel energized already. Not in my body, but in my brain, definitely. It's like it unclogged something in my brain. <laughs> okay, I can see why people would want to drink that. The taste, though, horrific. I really don't like it, but I guess, I don't know. My brain feels cold. It's so <laughs> weird. Uh, let me chuck that. Oh, it's just worse and worse. It tastes so strongly like mint. And it's fizzy too, so it feels like when you brush your teeth, it's foaming. Not a great experience. Now let's eat dessert. Um, we got this cookie that had sauce with it. It's not really dessert, it's more of a snack. Oh, there's many. They're very thin. Ooh, oh no. There. Zone roll. <laughs> mm, oh. Wow. Woo. Okay. This is definitely a cracker that tastes like a meal. And the taste of the rice cracker is really good. I really like this. Wow. And the fact that it's so thin too. Sorry. I'm being impolite. Talking with my mouth full. It's like it melts in your mouth a little bit. I like this. So now we're on to this last thing. Jewelry. Jelly. Uh, kira kira no kona. This one says maho no kona. Maho. Magic! Oh, that's why there's a star. That's, is this supposed to be a pentacle? I guess. Maho no kona. Okay, so let's make some magic. Take these two things apart. Here we go. Step two. Fill the tray with the water to the upper water line. Which one? Add in the pink sachet and stir well. The pink? Did they mean blue? <laughs> I guess they meant blue, right? Everything smells like soda. Everything. Ooh, it's got it's got sparkles. Then fill the tray with water to the lower water line. This one is magic but doesn't sparkle. How? And place in the fridge. Oh no. Place in the fridge for 10 minutes. Bloody hell. Ten minutes later. It's been ten minutes. Oh. Um it's supposed to turn into jelly? It definitely says to put this in the fridge. It was definitely still liquid, like very liquid. So I guess I'll see you a little later in a couple hours when it's the jelly it's supposed to be. Okay, so it's been several days and let me tell you, the fridge didn't do anything. So last night I brought it here in my cold room. I can't put it in the freezer. There's just no way it's not gonna spill. And um, yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna drink it. I wish it would have been jelly, but it's not, so... Mm. There are some jelly spots in it, but like it's spent 
all night here. I don't think I can do any better than this. Did I mix it wrong? Maybe I did something wrong. It's kind of gross because there's just some bits in it. But uh, it's like drinking kind of like slush. It's actually kind of good. It tastes a little bit like soda, but not too much. And it does taste like what Jello would taste like. Here we are. All this work for that. I look like I'm a survivalist. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just got juice and tomatoes and maple syrup. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like. It helps me a lot. You can share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel to keep my motivation going. <laughs> it takes two seconds and it really does a lot. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing these. I will see you again next week with another video, probably a witchcraft one. In the meantime, you can follow me on all of my social medias. Did you hear my voice crack at the beginning? On this note, I'm gonna go take care of yourselves, spread kindness and love. We all need it and you do too. So I love you very much. Goodbye.